it's Hitman. Hope you guys are doing good today. Uh, today I have a good, a nice video for you guys. I want to show off uh, some very nice once in a lifetime cards. Uh, these cards are not everyday cards. They are super, super high end. I want to say the value of everything is probably, it could be over a hundred thousand, probably close to it. One million dollars. So um, I'm just feel, I feel lucky to have be able to handle these cards and have them in my uh, possession. They belong to my buddy, Steven. Let me go ahead and link his Instagram right here. Definitely drop by Instagram, give him a follow. He opens a lot of high-end uh, boxes. He gets, he has a lot of high-end cards, the slabs. Most of the slabs that are in my mystery bags or blind or uh, slab bag chases are his slabs. Um, some of them are mine, some of them are his. We do a little mixture. Uh, make some deals, but um, definitely check out his page his Instagram page follow it show him some love tell him hitman sent you over there All right, uh, and then let's uh, let's show off some of his collection. So the first uh, cards I want to show off are F1 formula <laughs> cards, of course, I know nothing about F1 formula um, I know that what the big chase card was uh, it was this guy Lewis Hamilton, and uh, this is from Topps Chrome, and this is Topps Chrome Sapphire. So, you know, a limited amount of boxes were made here. And, and this is actually the picture variation of his card. So, Lewis Hamilton, Topps Chrome Sapphire. Um, he gave me some cards today that we will be sending to BGS and PSA, so that's why I have them. So I wanted to do a video and show off his cards, show, show you guys, because some of these cards are once in a lifetime cards, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, so this one right here, it's a Lewis Hamilton Topps Sapphire. This is the picture variation. Uh, this is not numbered, but again, the picture variation makes it super short print. The next card I want to show you guys is also uh, Lewis Hamilton. This is the yellow, yellow Topps, uh, Topps Chrome Sapphire, but yellow. So this is going to be numbered 40 of 50. So again, super short print, uh, 40, 50 yellow, which looks cool. It looks like gold to me, but uh, in tops, it's actually the yellow. So again, that's that. All right, we move on to the next card. Um, this one, there's a little, there, this one is a crazy one. It's my favorite baseball player, Fernando Tatis Jr. As you can see, this one is um, graded a 9.5 by BGS with the auto. This is his 2016 Bowman Chrome Prospect Autographs. So it's his first Bowman signed auto. Refractor also. Refractor auto. In a BGS 9.5, if you look at the subgrades, it's got a 10 centering, 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges, and the surface, it got a 9, overall 9.5. Um, in a BGS 9.5, I believe this is about a $5,000 card. I could be off, but uh, in a PSA 10, this could be about a thirteen to fifteen thousand dollar card. So I know it might sound crazy. What we're, our plan is to crack it out of this case, crack a BGS 95 to cross to PSA. This is also numbered three hundred two of four ninety nine. So if, if you're a Fernando Tatis fan, besides the one of one uh, super fractor that my boy Shy City hit you'd want, you know, something like this, something like this. So, I mean, if you guys let me know in the comments, do you think it's smart to crack a BGS 9.5? Now, our feeling behind it, my feeling behind it is if it was a true gem 9.5, I would probably keep it as a BGS, but it's not a true gem. It gave it a nine on surface. So I would think that a card this beautiful and looking at it just from visually through the case, I do not, you know, it, it looks it looks beautiful. And but the nine on surface, I don't see any print lines. You know, it's hard to see through the case, but uh, maybe maybe if I crack it out and uh, maybe wipe down the surface a little bit, I think it'll definitely cross over to, to a PSA 10, um, no problem. We, you know, we have the option of crossing it in the slab and, and not cracking it, but I feel like when you do that, they can't really look at the card or get a good look at it. And so they just send it back to you and say, we can't. Um, so we're gonna crack it ourselves and, um, and I'll make a video on that showing the process, 
but uh we'll, well, i'll keep you updated on this but this is a huge card um again steve not mine steven's collection but i wanted to show it to you guys all right the the next card uh the next few cards i'm going to show you are insane these are from national treasures the first one is a chase young now these are going to go to beckett bgs um cards like this i don't believe you need to send psa they just the i think you just we just need to get them slabbed uh, in a nice little bgs slab so um this is a chase young as you can see it's a booklet laundry tag booklet here on card auto this is numbered to five two of five chase young on uh, national treasures jumbo prime signatures booklet so yeah you know it, it, i know it's you know chase young sells pretty well you know it's not a qb it's not a running back but on card auto the laundry tag this will go to bgs the next card is a tua this is the national treasures on card auto um nice three color patch it's a horizontal patch so not the true rpa but this is going to be is this numbered i don't believe this one's numbered oh yeah, it is numbered actually to 25 16 of 25 it was hard to see there but right on the arm 16 of 25 on card auto um again you know these national treasures being thicker cards they they don't grade well uh, there is always some kind of, you know, surface edge ding, um, little mark on the card. Very rarely do they do they gem. So that's why uh, he is choosing BGS to send them to, just to get them slabbed. And, you know, if they get a good enough grade on BGS, we can always try to cross it. But uh, as for right now, just to get it slabbed and preserved, uh, we're going to send it to BGS. And the next card, you guys... Out of these two cars, I honestly don't know which one is bigger. The You'll see what I'm talking about. This is the Justin Herbert National Treasures 18 of 25 true RPA with a three color patch. I've seen sales of this over $50,000 raw. Um, I believe... I've also seen sales anywhere between 30,000. No, the 50,000 was to 99. Of course, that was back a few months ago when the market was hot. This one is to 25. It's 18 of 25, you know, Miss Jersey number, but still a huge, huge card. I do not know the value. This is on card auto as well. Three color patch. Um, you know, the patch has a little thread there. Um, I believe I saw a corner or an edge. You know, like I said, they're thick cards, they're hard to grade, but you know, he wants to get them slabbed, so we are sending this. Let me know what you guys think the value of this is. I I'm I'm I don't know. I really I really don't know. And the next card is a Justin Herbert Nike swoosh patch National Treasures horizontal card two of two. Wow. Two of two, guys. Um, again, I don't know the value of this card. One billion, gajillion, fifillion, shabadoodle, million, shawnee, commonly, million, yeah. This one, I believe, one of the, you know, it's a thicker card. It's going to be hard, hard to grade. Um, I believe the centering's a little bit off on the back anyways, but, you know, just to get it slabbed. Again, these cards don't belong to me. Um, I just do the uh, the grading, uh, the prepping and the grading for him. So two of two, Justin Herbert. This actually belongs to Steven's buddy, um, Mendo. Maybe I'll link his Instagram below as well. Uh, he hit this out of one of the cases, one of the National Treasure cases. So you remember, you guys remember that National Treasures case that we were gonna do the rip of on my channel? It did not sell out. We're not sure if these two cards came from any one of those cases, but he had a few cases of that in storage. He gave me one. I, I tried to run the break for it. It did not sell. At $600 a spot, a hit draft did not sell. Well, we're not sure if it's that case that I gave back to him, but, but these were from two different cases, and he didn't have that many cases. So 
Honestly, this could have came from one of the cases that my that we were trying to run the group break of. So if you guys did not buy into that group break, oh man, we should have filled it, guys. One of these cards could have been ours. But um, anyways, super nice card. Just some life once in a lifetime cards that I wanted to share with you guys. This is probably I probably have over a hundred thousand sitting on my desk here. So. Um, Super crazy. The next video that I I will be releasing will probably show this BGS 95 being cracked out of the case. Hey, comment below. Let me know. What do you guys think of these cards? Let me know if it's smart to grade it, or to crack a BGS 95. Not true gem though. To try to for the PSA 10, just because PSA holds so much more value right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making this. I enjoyed showing you guys the cards. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. Give the video a like. We're way past 10,000 subscribers. We're on the way to 11,000. So thank you everyone for the support. I'll check you guys out later. Peace.